Happy Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving everyone today shaping up to be a little bit nicer. Very cold in the morning. That's going to be the main thing with the showers over the last couple of days do have the potential for some icy conditions, but hopefully you don't have any travel planned for today because today you're going to want to stay at home at least in the morning by the afternoon. A bit of sunshine will clear out some of that ice warm up for some areas closer to 40 degrees still below average temperatures. It is a cold day overall, but at least we'll get some sunshine with it. The main system that came through over the last couple of days. That's almost ancient history. Now it's moved off to the south, dealing with some very stormy conditions a little further to the south, even some icy snowy conditions over the higher elevations. The Sierra Nevadas, for example, seeing the potential of a lot of snow in a short amount of time as that bomb cyclone, no longer a bomb cyclone. Of course, it's leveled out just a bit, balanced things out just a bit, but still bringing stormy conditions further off to the south around Los Angeles, even seeing those potentials for heavier rainfall and snow up in the mountains for us. Us, a little bit of a different story as we cleared everything out, but we still have the moisture from that system. We have freezing conditions possible. Not only do we have freezing fog this morning, but freezing temperatures leading to some ice, still some moisture on the roadways. Now, one of the main areas that we're looking at is one of those spots that doesn't typically see freezing temperatures all that much. Well, that's the coast. So we have a freeze warning from North Bend all the way down to Crescent City throughout the coastal areas of our forecast. Just about everybody else further inland. You've at least seen freezing temperatures so far this year, so you don't see that freeze warning just as much, but the potential is out there. And I mentioned precipitation. This was just yesterday, so we're not factoring in the first day the storm system came through Tuesday night into Wednesday. And as you can see over the course of the day, that's a decent amount of rain, especially a little further inland. Grants Pass over a tenth of an inch, over a third of an inch for Roseburg, tenth of an inch for the Medford area, a little bit of showers and snow near Montague and Wairika, and then some snow near Mount Shasta just over the last 24 hours. A lot of it was in the early morning hours of Wednesday, so we see a little bit lower numbers numbers as things started to clear out. Checking out your pinpoint forecast. Essentially, there's this stray shower chance coming down to snow at the higher elevations. But besides that, we are looking at mostly clear conditions over the course of the day today. At night, we do have some clouds try to build up just a bit, kind of swinging around from that low further off to the south. But for the most part, it is clearing skies. Keep on going through the day into Friday, eventually into Saturday. Get closer to Saturday, a new system tries to push in. Nowhere near as strong as the one we saw earlier this week, but still some chances of showers and snow as we get into next week. It's approaching mainly from the south, really, and that brings more potential towards areas like Mount Shasta. Could see some more snow there. For the coast today, partly cloudy with some patchy freezing fog. Temperatures mainly in the 40s, then late tonight dropping into the 20s and 30s. So still very cold for the coast as we get into the morning hours. In the West Valley's temperatures not warming up a whole lot, like what we saw yesterday, upper 30s, maybe 40 degrees for Medford. Partly cloudy with some patchy freezing fog. At times, we do have some sunshine mixing in, then partly cloudy again tonight. And east of the Cascades, mostly cloudy, then cloudy clearing out. So sunny skies as we get into the afternoon. Some clouds do roll in later in the night into tomorrow. Very cold temperatures as we get into Friday morning. For the Rogue Valley, your seven day forecast today dry tomorrow, dry good part of Saturday dry as well. But then we have a chance of rain late Saturday, possibly into Sunday. A couple of slight chances out there on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, a better chance of showers. But again, nowhere near what we saw as we look earlier this week. For the Klamath Basin, that's the trend as well. Snow late in the day Saturday into Sunday, just a chance. Then another chance as we get into Monday, essentially two bands of showers coming through, coming down as snow at the higher elevations. First band of showers later in the day on Saturday into Sunday could bring snow as well, and then warming up a little bit. So we'll call it rain and snow as we get into Monday in Northern California and out on the coast. That's mainly rain showers as we get into Saturday and Sunday, rain likely on Sunday and a good part of Monday before drying out just a bit towards Tuesday and Wednesday.